everyone, it's me. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and today we are going to do an exciting video, my favorite kind of video, it's a fashion video. And this is in collaboration with Nordstrom. I'm going to do a try-on haul. And the focus or feature is Nordstrom made brands. And a lot of them I didn't even realize were actually Nordstrom brands like Zella, 1901, Treasure and Bond, BP, gosh, so many noises going by, Chelsea 28, 1901, and Halogen. So a lot of brands that I knew I liked already. First outfit I tried on, I left the tags on it because a lot of times when I do try on videos, I feel like they look good. But then I either get told in the comments that it doesn't look good on me or more importantly, when I see it on myself on video, I don't think it looks good. But with that said, I think the outfit that I have put on looks so good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the tags off. John just told me I had the tags on. I said, I know. But um, this little outfit is really a surprise. Both of them, when I ordered them, I didn't know. The pants, I didn't know if they were going to be too boring. And the top, I didn't know if it was going to be too racy. The top, I think, is beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and stand up so I can show you everything. The top is Lathe. I have always loved this brand. Lathe is the brand of the, there was a dress that I liked years ago, and I think I bought every color. They do good little cotton dresses in the spring and summer. And then 1901, the first thing I think of when I see this line is they always have a really nice black blazer. So I will link that too. Okay, so I think this top is so pretty. I think it would look so good under just anything, under a blazer, really just by itself. And I really thought it was gonna be way, way too low, low cut for me. So I put it on just with a bodysuit and it looks great. I felt like as soon as I put it on, it really kind of cinched together. And I believe this is available in another shade, but I, of course, loved the nude. And then the pants, actually, let me show you some shoes real quick. And we will put those on. Hmm, let's do these. Okay, now the shoes, these are the one thing I cannot decide if I'm gonna keep or not. They're beautiful and they get great reviews, but I just feel like they're, they might be hard to walk in. But out of all the reviews, no one mentioned that. So I, I think I'm gonna just try them because they are just so gorgeous. This nude with the rhinestone across them. And these are actually from Nordstrom, but they are the, um, what is it? What is the brand? Kurt Geiger, which I have ordered shoes from that line before and loved them. I'm gonna put these on and see what you think of the whole outfit. Okay, and then the pants are just good basic no pockets side zip a little bit cropped with a little you know, hold on here a little slit on the side to kind of feature whatever shoes you're wearing and i just think they fit so good and these are a medium and like i said i'm i'm probably more of a six than i am a four i'm be between a four and a six and i just think the shoes are gorgeous i think i'm gonna have to keep them and just try it. They weren't incredibly expensive. And you know, Nordstrom is always having sales. So let me get closer up so you can see everything. Actually, I should have done that. I love a peplum. And usually peplums don't work out for me, but I think this one is working. And I think if you have any little function you want to go to for the holidays, this would be great or just for yourself. So I would say the first outfit is two thumbs up. Now I've got a couple more pieces. I've got a pair of jeans, another pair of shoes, a pair of boyfriend sweatpants that I've already tried on and a t-shirt that I already loved so much I've already washed and dried it. But here is the story. When I ordered these things, I forgot to add my new address to my Nordstrom card. So I just pushed purchase and I used my points. And on my second purchase that's coming today, I even did double points. 
and I put my old address. So I wasn't sure I was going to get this in time. So I ended up ordering another little group of things this past weekend and then paying for the expedited shipping. So we're going to have a bunch of stuff to try on. I just have to wait for it to come in. It should be here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to try on the things that I have here now. And then this afternoon I will try on the next box of Nordstrom goodies. This is the t-shirt that I've already washed and dried because I knew I loved it. I knew it was going to fit and I knew it would look even better after I washed it and dried it. And it is from the brand Treasure and Bond. Is that what it is? Yes, Treasure and Bond and I got the medium. And not only do I like the lips, but I love the color white and red or white and orange looks so good underneath blazers jackets faux furs like this with a big faux fur dynamite so right now i'm just going to put on my little ugg shoes and then these pants are also from treasure and bond and these are the boyfriend jogger in ivory fog and love them Generally, I like to wear something a little like a bodysuit or something with something that's bigger like this. But just to show you, I put these on. I'm going to show you a pair of jeans in a few minutes and another pair of shoes. So I love these. They've got pockets. They do not have a tie, which I kind of like. A lot of times I like to roll mine over and I always like to take the bottom and cuff them up like that. And let me show you the difference it gives. It just makes the bottom look a little bit more streamlined, not as balloony as the ones if you don't. So, love these. Okay, these are the Levi's Wedgie Straight. And I remember when these jeans first got so popular, I couldn't wear them because they were just too, I don't know, I just couldn't fit into them. So, I ordered these in a 27 which is about like a four, because I want some jeans that really fit and don't get too big. They're button fly. And I did try them on last night. At first I thought, oh no. But they've got to be a little bit tight at first. This button's always the worst. Because they stretch out, like real denim like this, it gives. Let me pull a little bit of this out. So what you do is you just give it a few bends, especially like after you drive somewhere, that's when you really get the stretch out. And let me show you the next pair of shoes that I got. These are so pretty. John was downstairs when I first got these and I put them right on, like right beside his desk. And I said, oh my gosh, aren't these pretty? And he said, hmm, are they really for this season? And I said, well, it's, it's still warm here. He said, I'm talking about the color. Sometimes I just think, when did he become a fashionista? <laughs> he just says the funniest thing sometimes. But they might be a little bit out there for him. I don't know. But to me, they totally look like a Bottega shoe or something. They are so pretty. They come in several different colors. They're Kurt Geiger again. But it is like a gray putty color. And I just think that they are gorgeous, gorgeous shoes. So I don't know if I'd wear these with this, but I'm going to just try them on so you can see everything. And you'll have to tell me how these jeans look. I think you're going to like them because I think they make my butt look a little bit better than usual. And they're such a good length. Loving the shoes. Oh my goodness. They're comfortable feeling. You guys know I love this style. I love the slide-in shoe that comes high on the foot because it just, it's easy to wear. Here are the jeans and I feel like they actually like fit my butt and they make it not look so bad. I think they kind of look good. So I might end up just wearing this. I've got a few places that I want to go today, some things I need to do. And then hopefully when I get back, my other Nordstrom box will be here and there's some different things in there. There's a pair of shoes I think you might like. There is a jacket in there that I have looked at for years and I never got it 
and I went ahead and got it. And it is a Nordstrom brand too. So I will see you later this afternoon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's me and welcome to part two of my Nordstrom fashion video. <laughs> I've done something funny. I've got on, I was putting on what I was going to start the video with and I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and put that sweatshirt on and then I can show them that. And then I thought, well, I'll go ahead and put these sweatpants on too. So I'm getting ready to undress for you. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this sweatshirt that is by BP. It was $29 and I got this small because this sweatshirt I got to wear, like I was telling you, underneath other jackets, blazers, things like that. So I did not want it to be a big bulky sweatshirt and it's perfect. It's also slightly, slightly cropped. So it comes to here and I am, you know, long waisted. So it's not going to be like a, the typical, you know, longer sweatshirt. It is just a right to the waist and that is perfect for me. <laughs> the pants that I have on are just like the cream ones I showed you, but these are the black. And I just wear stuff like this all the time. And you guys are probably freaking out about my shoes. I know they're just so uncharacteristic. But let me turn this cuff over because that just really makes it so much better. Let's see, we'll turn this over. And then I'll show you the shoes in a minute, which are so out of my character, but there's just something that I liked about these. I don't think they're available in this particular color, but they are available in the silver and the black, I believe. And I just got them. So I haven't worn them out, so I'll have to check back with you. But I just thought they were kind of cool. I loved the furry part of it. And you guys know I love these big boyfriend type sweatpants, especially with a bodysuit, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. But, I wanted to show you how this sweatshirt looks up underneath a blazer. Okay, now this is an older one that I've had for years and years. But I'm going to link that 1901 blazer down below. And I did not do anything with my hair because when I do try-ons, my hair gets really messed up. Okay, so you take the hood out and put your blazer on. And it just... I don't know. I feel like it It just looks so casual, but I never use this word for fashion, but it looks smart. You know what I mean? It just looks put together. And then the girl that I saw doing this had just a men's black baseball cap on. It could have been like Nike or Adidas. I think if you were to get like a Gucci baseball cap or something like that, it would just be too much. It would ruin the whole vibe of the look because it's supposed to be super effortless. I would just get like a man's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to like Dick Sporting Goods or something like that and get just a nice pretty black baseball cap because on day two or day three hair days, that could come in really handy and especially for those of you that live in cold, cold weather, I know a hat makes a big difference. I didn't know that until I went to New York that year. And I was like, who cares about my hair? Give me the hat. Just love this look. And it would also look really good with like your hair in a ponytail. Just, I love it. So I think this sweatshirt is perfect for that. And now let's take off the sweatpants. Now these are, they're called boyfriend sweatpants and that's because they're a little oversized already. So the size I got, they are treasure and bond and the size I got is small and it's perfect. And now let me put, oh I didn't even show you my shoes. Okay here they are and they are aerosols. So that was a lot of the appeal. I knew that they were going to be nice and they were going to be comfortable I've never had a pair of like Birkenstocks before. I've never really wanted any. But when I saw these with the fur, I don't know. It just, a lot of times I think when things come out like these or like Crocs or like the clear shoes or any trend that is, or the real square toe, it grows on you. And that's probably what has happened to a degree. 
and I love the fur. I just love it all. I just think they look really cute, and I think they would look really cute with like a blazer or anything, and I am all about some shoes that I can slip on and run out because a lot of times when I go out, I'm, I'm hardly going in anywhere. It might be the grocery store. So I just love these and I thought you guys might like them too. And I think they would be an amazing Christmas gift. They are on my mind for someone. And um, so I love those. I'm gonna keep them on. I've got another pair of shoes I'm gonna show you in a minute. These are the first Zella leggings that I have gotten in a small. And I'm glad I did. When I first looked at them, I thought, oh no, I should have gotten medium because they just looked small. But they stretched just right on and they are the moto. I don't know if you guys can see that, how they've got like that little design. I love them. They are so pretty and so, uh, they're just like Zella leggings. They come up high-waisted. They just feel so good. And let me back up again so you can see everything. I have to make sure not to hit my head right here. And I just think I'm going to wear these to death. Then before I take off the sweatshirt, I want to show you another look with the jacket that I was telling you about that I have looked at for years. Okay, here it is. It is the Treasure and Bond Leather Moto. I believe it is on sale. They've got all kinds of sales going on now for Black Friday. Now is just like the best time to shop because it's like everything is on sale and it's best to do it now before the sizes, you know, get sold out. So I wanted to try this on with you. What I like about it is look how soft it is. I love it. All leather jackets are not equal. Some of them that I have are super stiff. They may have a lot of gold hardware or a lot of silver hardware or a big belt on it. There's always room for a good basic leather jacket like this. So let's see, I got the medium. And I'm glad I did because this is another good way that you can wear. Pull your little hood out and you can wear this with your hoodie and it looked really cute especially with these leggings I mean how cute is that I mean I don't know I would wear these shoes in a heartbeat with this outfit I think they look good I think that's why I like these is because they are a little edgy I think the black ones would be my next favorite the solid black and I may regret not getting the solid black so I don't know and so this is, and then let me zip this up for you so you can see such a good, just all around good moto jacket. I don't want to take this off. It feels so good, you guys. I hope that you, I wish I could just let you feel the things because I can promise you this. I do not, either I don't buy anything that doesn't feel good, isn't comfortable, or if I get it and I don't, it doesn't feel good or it's not comfortable, I don't show it to you and I don't keep it. I am just all about, I don't think you have to sacrifice comfort to look good. And I'm all about something being snuggly and soft. That is the beauty of a moto jacket. You want it to look like you've had it forever. So loving this and I think if you are in the market or for a gift, you would love this. Let me show you these leggings are awesome. Okay, so now we can take this off. I'm just going to put it on the back of this chair. Okay, and now I'm going to take this off. This house is so cold, you guys. I don't know what it is. John says it's because I've lost weight, but I've been so cold. I will show you what I've gotten and not something else, but okay, so here is the little sweatshirt let me show you it by itself this is i'm not sure what other colors this comes in this was a great a great find this i can probably sit down and show you this let me pull my chair back here oh no i'm sorry bubba oh my goodness mommy didn't remember that he was under the chair i'm so sorry i'm so sorry you forgive me? You 
forgive me? Hey, these shoes kind of, do they match? Not, they're not as pretty as you. They're not as pretty as you. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I won't do that again. Okay. I forgot they like to lay like right under me and I forgot he was under that chair. Okay, <gasps> that distracted me. I don't want to hurt my baby. This is the Leith, L-E-I-T-H, bodysuit. Love it. You know how I feel about bodysuits. So this is the small bodysuit. I mean, I wouldn't pair it with this just to run around in. You look like you were, oh my goodness. My goodness. You've got to get away from my feet. They are just so needy. They want to be with mama all the time. Daddy's downstairs. Okay. So anyway, I love, love, love the bodysuit. I think I've already gotten this in the, like a ribbed purple. I'm pretty sure it's the same brand, but love it. Okay. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you, you guys know how I feel about the long sleeve sleep shirt that I have already about worn out and <clears throat> I wanted to try their pajamas because like I told you, I have been so cold here. I don't know if it's because I've lost weight or because this house is on a, like a cement slab and our other one wasn't, it was on a crawl space and I don't know if it just makes the floor colder or what it is, but I'm just so cold here. So I loved this print. Isn't it beautiful? And then I used to never, ever wear socks. You guys know I'm anti-sock. But lately, I've been, a lot of it too is probably because I'm home more. And, you know, when I get home, I really, really, really have enjoyed putting on some pajamas or a nightgown or a robe that I love. Making, I, I make sure they match I even make sure my socks match and I love feeling good. It's not about, and I, I don't, I know it's so cliche, it's not about how you look at, but how you feel, it is just how you feel. And that's why, you know, I'll say to you, this makes me feel like I'm from the 60s. This makes me think about this. This makes me feel like that. That's what it is to me. It's how I feel and the vibes it brings me, the what it makes me think about. Does it bring back great memories? Does it gr bring great feelings? That is what it's all about to me, even my night clothes. So I grabbed these two pair of socks. They are similar to the Barefoot Dreams, which I love, and I wanted to see how they compare. And these are from, I think they're just the Nordstrom brand. They're called Butter Socks. So I got the black ones and then I got the light ones because when I, you know, put my night clothes on, I either go with the real pretty light pink and girly or I usually go with the dark so I got those for that Last but not least I got these and remember I showed you the shoes that I wore literally in the 90s that are the high heel loafers well I have been on the hunt and it is so hard to find some that aren't too clunky or aren't too dressy like a lot of them are pretty, but they're more business suit or going to work looking. And so I would just went ahead and order these and they might be a little clunkier than I want, but when I put them on, they feel so good. And it's these Sam Edelman high heel loafers. Oh, these take me back. These take me back because when I worked in an office, I wore, I tried to get all suits, like little they would usually be like a mini skirt with a little blazer top or something like that. That was right after, remember Melrose Place and Heather Locklear wore all those sexy little cool suits? Well, that's what I loved. And I loved my high heel loafers. I had a navy pair, a black pair, and then the ones that you saw. My other two that I had, I wore out and they didn't have a buckle, but they were still shaped like this, not as big of a heel, and probably not as big of a platform, but still. So I'm gonna try these on and let you see them, but I think that I'm going to enjoy these. I think they're gonna look amazing with jeans. So here they are, and just for the heck of it, just because it needs something to go with the look, I'm gonna put this blazer on. And, oh, I think that they are, 
てんてんてんてんてんてんてん I couldn't resist a little bit of Pee Wee Herman. But I think that these are just amazing. I love them. I love them. And I was worried that they would be so blocky that they would feel like Herman Munster and I wouldn't be able to walk much in them. But I've already walked all downstairs to make sure before I showed them to you. They are not hard to walk in. And I feel very, they're very funky but still very sexy. And I think they're awesome. Okay, you guys, that is it. That is it for my <laughs> Thanksgiving Day entertainment. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you are with your family, with your loved ones, the best way that you're able to be right now. I'm going to my parents later on, but I am so blessed that I see them. I just saw them yesterday. I see them all the time and my brother and his family. And so I hope that you have a great day. Thank you again to Nordstrom. This is my first Nordstrom fashion haul video, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.